Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech farm. It looks like I will have the whole film series from this episode FDM versus SLI CD printed bolts and screw nuts. Uh, in first episode I was testing the Illegu water washable resin versus PLA as uh, cheap and popular materials. In second episode I tested the Syria Blue versus PTG with very interesting results. And now in the meantime the Syria company sent me the Tenesios resin too. So in this episode I'm testing the Tenesios uh, plus blue mixture resin versus ABS. So for this uh, bolts I use 50-50% mixture as a Syria company suggested. And uh, since I don't have the SLA seed printer, I use the printing service and uh, that's why I don't have too many test sam samples. Uh, only two or one per each test, two per each mechanical test and one in the temperature test and maybe impact test. And uh, ABS, I use here the silo ABS. Uh, it is not really easy printing. I try to print these uh, without enclosure because uh, most of my viewers probably don't have the enclosure. I thought it will be printed without problems because it is a small object. They are printed in horizontal position because uh, in, with FDM printer it's, it's important, it's much stronger because of that weaker layer adhesion. But in this case, uh, I using a support and the 3D part uh, is uh, sitting on the supports, but it doesn't have pull down adhesion. So if uh, any uh, minimal warping appears, uh, it will lift up the 3D part and I will not get uh, that nice rounded uh, cross section. A better solution I got when I uh, cut the, I, I got that flat surface and uh, printed uh, without supports. I, I will show that uh, later soon. This means the 3D is not really nice, but in every case uh, I have to clean them with the tap and die tool, so in, that's why I will use these as they are now. Of course the best results I got with this printing inside the enclosure, and uh, I will show you this uh, later in this video. And what will I test? Uh, I will repeat those tests from my previous video. So with the bolts I will have the tensile, the shear, torque, uh, impact and temperature test. And uh, with the nuts, I will have the pull out and the torque tests. Okay, let's take a closer look for these uh, bolts and uh, screw nuts. And these M6 bolts and nuts are printed with Sunlow ABS. And uh, here they are printed in horizontal position, and I have to use the support here. The support is very easy to remove. But unfortunately this tree this is uh, not really good so I definitely I have to clean it with the dye tool. Also I had some problems with, uh, with the, because I disabled the cooling. Even the small, uh, what's this, 30 degree overhang I had the problem. So here I enab enabled 10% uh, cooling and then it finished correctly. But as you can see, it starts very hardly because here I didn't have any cooling at all. This is M6 die tool. Now the treat is ready, the M6 treat. These are nuts, they are almost probably the correct size. Only I have to remove the brim. A little bit tight, but as you can see, almost no need for any cleaning. But just in case, I will use a, a, just a little cleaning with this tab tool. Quick check with the metallic bolt. And also a quick check with metallic uh, screw nut. Just for testing, these four are printed uh, without supports sliced here uh, below the minor diameter because now this surface uh, grip better stick better to the printing bed because with this version uh, the thread actually is in the air sitting on the supports and there I don't have any adhesion that which holds it so I always have some minimal warping and uh, uh, I hope it will be visible so this was printed in supports 
and here this is much more rounded all I have to do is to clean the brim but uh, I get much better rounded cross section here but here also I will clean the thread and actually it's, it's not much weaker I have separately a video where I did these experiments and also I want to show you how important is printing inside the enclosure uh, so this is my Enders 3 V2 inside this Creality enclosure. I usually I print here all ABS and ASC objects. And unfortunately we cannot see what's happening inside. It's very hard uh, only through this window or between this uh, zip <laughs> window. And after the, the printing, I can see that it's completely strided. I didn't have problems with overhangs. Uh, and also I uh, can see stride that I have a nice rounded uh, cross section here. And here they are side by side. So this is printed on Prussia Mark III without enclosure. And this is printed on Ender 3 inside the enclosure. So check the, this cross section perfectly circled compared to this one. Of course this one can be used too because I clean the thread with the dye tool. Uh, here I will also clean the thread but uh, I have much better base surface here. Printed constantly with the 10% uh, fan. And this is Syria Blue and uh, Tenacious mixture, 50-50%. Unfortunately, I didn't add any clearance. Uh, I wasn't sure how will this uh, resin be printed, so I have to clean the thread both in the in, in the bolt and in the nut, inner and outer threads. Well, actually, the outer diameter is, is good because it is six millimeter in negative tolerance, so it must be the minor diameter, which I cannot really measure with this caliper. Okay, let's clean the trees. So now it works, but unfortunately I lost that nice transparent color. But for this experiment it is not so important to me. And same with the nut. And just quick check with the metallic bolt. And after this I'm ready for testing. I'm starting with a tensile or pulling test for the M6 bolts. And this is my testing equipment. One ton chain hoist and 500 kg crank scale. And I started with ABS. And this is the brake load because this is what I can measure with this equipment. And this is the results. Interesting, they broke on different positions and the ABS was stronger by 23% approximately. And this is my setup for shear stress. This is two-sided shear stress, so it is a pure uh, shear without any bending or similar. And I'm recording here the maximum load because sometimes uh, it reached the maximum load starting with the sharing and uh, it, uh, then I can measure lower values. And here you can see approximately they are shared on the correct those two uh, positions. And here the resin was stronger by approximately 10%. And this is the pulling test for the screw nuts. Actually it will be a share test for the threads. Well at least in the case of the filament ABS. Because you will see here in case of the ABS the thread was pulled out from the nut in both cases but with the resin they just exploded but on a much higher load and same with the both uh, test documents and here you can see I couldn't find all the pieces and here the resin was stronger but approximately 36% in torque test I will use the metallic nut in combination with the plastic or, or, or resin uh, bolt and I will uh, start with tightening 
until it doesn't broke. This is the torque meter from 0.3 to 30 newton meters. And I will use this plate as a washer. And with this I can measure the peak of one movement. One point one, one point four. And something broke. And now resin bolt. One point two. One point five. 1.5 and broke suddenly. Hmm, 1.2. 1.3. Hmm, completely different brakes. So uh, with the ABS the thread was shared and with the resin it just broke suddenly but on a little bit higher torque. Because of this I would say this is a draw round. So similar torque test with the screw nuts in the combination with metallic bolt and I will use this metallic plate as a washer. One point eight. Two point one and something broke. ABS. 1.8 2.0 and now resin 2.1 and the last torque test and this one is with resin .6. And here they are again very different brakes so the uh, thread of the ABS nuts is just pulled out slowly and I feel how they uh, failed and the resin they broke here and here and they break suddenly on a little bit higher torque. This test is based on sharp impact test. I have here one kilogram uh, hammer and if I release it it will swing to the other side to the zero position because there are no test specimens here. Then I will place a bolt and it will swing to the lower position and from difference in height I can calculate how much joule is used to break this material. This is the zero position. This is the ABS. And this is resin stands out exactly 10 millimeters. And this is the result of the brake test. Unfortunately, I have only one test specimen uh, for this test uh, from the resin, so I'm using only one from the uh, ABS. And they broke very similar in the same position where they stand out from the testing plate. So this is my scale, this is the position of the hammer where there was no specimen. So this is a zero position measuring the distances from this line. And this is the position of the hammer after breaking the resin. And this is the position of the hammer after breaking the ABS. If I measure the distances from the zero position, I can see I have 5 and 34 millimeters. And from this I can calculate the breaking energy. Here you can see the uh, equations. And this means that uh, this re resin is a uh, very brittle material. Well, actually it is uh, very similar like the PLA because this is one of the advantage, the specification of the ABS material. So this is my testing setup for temperature test. The bolts stand out exactly 15 millimeters 
and I attached uh, here M10 metallic nuts as an uh, additional weight and I will measure the temperature with this uh, thermometer. Hundred and fifty degrees Celsius, so I will stop the experiment here. Because last time uh, it was very hard to pull out the melted uh, filaments from the holes. Uh, but because last time I was going up to 200 degrees Celsius, but uh, it's obvious uh, who is the winner in this experiment. Well, it's time to pronounce the winner. So in this third match, SLA versus uh, FDMC, the printing, the winner is resin. Tenacious Blue uh, resin won in uh, four rounds and ABS won in two rounds and one was, let's say, draw. Of course, this is just for fun. Uh, it is more important for me, at least, to understand the specification of these materials. And it is good that we have a resin which has very similar specification like ABS. Unfortunately, it's a little bit brittle. You saw that in the impact test. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm preparing another similar video uh, where I will test different uh, mixtures. So we have the blue versus tenacious versus 50-50% mixture. And just for reference, I will compare them with uh, water washable resin. Usually I'm asking, are these results comparable with the previous uh, videos? Well, uh, yes, but if I would show you now, then, uh, then you wouldn't watch the previous two videos. But um, I don't know. Okay, so if you're still watching this video, then uh, you deserve it. So here they are, all results uh, from first two matches on one place. But I hope you will follow me to my next video too. <laughs> Until that, thank you for watching and happy printing!